All right, everybody, so I'm going to show you the fake refer generator portion of this tool um, so you can see exactly what it does, and I'll explain to you uh, what it does, how you guys can use it. Now, the way it works is you just want to put in your affiliate link up here. Okay, so you put in your CPA link, your affiliate link. Um, you can use um, the files that were generated over here, and you would actually, for this, uh, if you were to use it this way, you'd use the random page um, file that was generated. Now, you can use any of that. So, pretty much put in your affiliate link. Um, again, you can put in just your raw affiliate link there, or a cloak link, or whatever you want to. And then, what you want to set the refer as, you want to go ahead and place right here. Okay, so you want to make sure that this is the white hat site, the site that is okay for the traffic to be coming from it. Okay, if you're doing anything shady or you're getting traffic anywhere that you shouldn't be, or you're doing anything you maybe don't want people to know what page it's coming from because it's a really good page and you don't want people to steal it or anything like that, there's a million different reasons. But basically, if you want to throw them off the scent and uh, actually give them a different referring page so they think it came from here when it really didn't. And that's what you want to do here. Um, remember, with the double meta refresh, it's cool, and they don't know where the traffic came from. But the problem is, is that it does throw up some flags to the affiliate managers because they don't know where the traffic's coming from, and it makes them nervous. So unless you have a good relationship with them, um, you can't really get away with that too often without having to get into some sort of uh, discussion with them. Okay, so if you do it this way, you can cover your tracks, and. Uh, it's just a little bit better. They, they have a referring site so they don't worry about it. Now you need to make sure you don't just put some site up there like myspace.com. Okay, Read this portion right here and you'll see the location of the referring page. You will need to make sure there is a link or a banner on this page. Okay, On the page that you are saying is the refer, you better have a link or a banner to the affiliate offer. If you don't have a link or a banner or a way to get to the affiliate offer on that page, they're going to know that you are um, lying about where the traffic's coming from, and they're going to ban you. Okay, so or they're going to, you know, know something's up. Okay, so you need to make sure number one that there is a way for them to get to the offer from that page. Typically, a banner is great for that. Okay, now remember what I said about traffic to the site. Some of smart affiliate managers will see if there's actually traffic coming to the site. And in order to get around that, all you need to do is spend five bucks on eBay and get a bunch of hits to your site. Um, from a traffic broker on there. Okay, so what will happen is the traffic broker will just send hits to your site for the month and it'll look like you actually have a lot of traffic to the site. So then your Alexa ranking and all that stuff will you know, be better. You could use this tool and get a better Alexa ranking with that and look like traffic's coming through to your site. Um, however you want to do it, just make sure that you're getting some sort of form of traffic to the site and uh, pretty much making it look real. Now remember also if your conversion rate is way too high because you're sending a lot of relevant traffic to the offer, they know that if you're doing it white hat style um, or that you're doing it um, for the rules or terms of that offer, that the conversion rate has to be a certain percent. If you're 10, you know, if, you, if you're like doing like a 50% conversion rate and the average conversion rate for the item is 8%, they're going to know that something's up and it's going to be a flag. So in order to just keep your conversion rate under the radar, you just delude your traffic with other traffic from a traffic broker or elsewhere. Okay, You need to make sure you delude your traffic so your conversion rates stay down at the average for that offer. You do that, you're not going to draw any red flags, they're not going to have any reason to look at you, and everything should just continue on hunky-dory. Okay, So the way this works, um, it also says you will need to have access to this page to insert the code, the code generated below into the HTML on the top of the referring page. That is referring to this part right here. Put this code at the top of the page that you are saying is the refer. You must have access to that page. You place this code at the top of the page that you are saying is the referring page. And what this is, is it's just running a check. It's basically telling it, hey, if it's coming from the Black Hat site, here's an encrypted name for that traffic right here. If it's coming from that Black Hat site, make sure that you post the refer as this before you do anything else. Okay, that's what you're telling it to do. Okay, so you actually go ahead and uh, right here it says this code and what you do with this part of it, it says this code can be placed on any page on any server. This is the page that you give to people that you want to send directly to the offer. Nothing on this page will be displayed during the redirect process. A blank PHP page with this code is optimal. Okay, you send the traffic to this. 
okay? You send the traffic to this. And what happens is when you send the traffic to this, it hits the offer, okay? But it says that the traffic's coming from here. That's the way it works. Now, in order to put this into a PHP page or anything like that, you just go to Notepad, and you just go right here, and you just copy it directly in. You save it. And you change saved file type to all files, and then you just call it whatever you want to. You know, um, you say I don't recommend you call it Black Hat Page. This is just for example. To call it Black Hat Page, that's that, and it's now a PHP file. It will run automatically. So, anyways, you're basically, like I said, you're just telling it to. Uh, telling it to, uh, to set the refer as that refer right there and uh, the work's done for you. Just make sure you follow the instructions on all of this and uh, you will be referring from the uh, whatever source you want to. Now if you want to test it, you can test it, make sure that you test it and make sure that it's working before you do anything and um, you can test it with uh, some of these different tools. You can use uh, this if you want to test it right here or anything else if you want to. All right. So have fun. Talk to you later.